Okay, so in this video here, we're going to be comparing the Seattle AI Meta Human Face Good D2 Helmet with the iPhone Live Link Face, which is free in the marketplace. All right, so I have a project here already set up. It says an empty map with a Meta Human inside it. Now, since I'm going to be doing the Live Link Face first, I really don't have to set anything up in here. All I have to do is click on Use AR Kit. I'm already connected, and I'm actually connected via Ethernet cable. So this is very good. It's not Wi Fi. You can get a pretty stable connection, much more stable connection if you're using an ethernet adapter whenever you're using live links. So I highly suggest doing that if this is your only means of recording facial animation. Now, with that being said, just a disclaimer, I'm going to try to perform the facial animation as close as possible so we can get a good representation between these two facial mocap devices. All right. So what I'll do first is let me go ahead and calibrate my face in live link face. Okay, so I went ahead and calibrated it. And yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to click on use AR kit face. I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro. So this is pretty high quality stuff right here. And let me go ahead and turn this on. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be comparing the Seattle FaceGood AI MetaHuman to the iPhone Live Link Face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, A, B, C. D, E, F, G, E, U, E, U. Okay, so that is the iPhone Live Link face now. All right, so what I'm going to do is stop this recording and listen to that take because I'm not reading any scripts or anything like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my D2 helmet. Okay, so here we are in Seattle AI Meta Human Live Drive software, the avatar software. I actually made a tutorial on how to set this all up last night. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Uh, additionally, let me go ahead and add this. The Seattle AI AR kit is the free version of the avatar, but right now there's actually some bugs going around. So they are fixing that. And whenever they do fix it, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use the Seattle AI AR kit. However, if you want to try it yourself, you actually don't have to use any blueprint setups. It's actually going to work right away with a meta human in unreal engine 5 so you can just turn this on and change this to face good and then use it in unreal engine 5 and it's going to work just fine however there are some bugs that are currently working so just a heads up but with that being said what we're here for is the seattle ai meta human which is the paid version of this live drive okay so i have it set to real time i already have it plugged in in unreal engine 5 right now as you can see my character is already talking and again i'm not going to be able to replicate that facial animation performance twice because honestly there's going to be some variations i'm not going to be able to do it 100 percent at the time but i'm going to absolutely try my best so i'm gonna go ahead and minimize this so we're using the full unreal engine 5 window and let's go ahead and get started Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And in this video, we're going to be comparing the FaceGood Seattle AI Meta Human to the iPhone Live Link Face app. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, A. B, C, D, E, F, G, E, U, E, U. Uh, okay, so that was with the tongue out, and that's pretty much it. That's the same exact lines that I use with the iPhone Live Link face. Okay, now some of y'all last night was asking me, why was the eye looking up? Well, the thing is, if I'm looking at it like this right here, I'm looking straight at the camera, which is the right thing to do. But whenever I'm recording, sometimes I'm looking up like this and that's where actually where my monitors are. So that is not at fault of the face good D2 camera. That is just me not looking straight at the camera like I am doing right now. So this is looking straight out. But with that being said, I want to know your opinion about this test. Do 
do you think that the Live Link Face app is better than the Face Good D2 helmet? Because actually, some of y'all think the same. But now that you're actually seeing it side by side, let me know in the comments below what y'all think. With that being said, like always, thank you all for watching and see y'all in the next one. Peace out.